What's up YouTube? It's your girl Sophia from RSVP. I'm back with a new video. I'm finally here to do that Burberry review that I've been promising you guys. Um, I did a haul a little while back that had some Burberry items and I've since then picked up a few more items. The first one is their base. I'll be showing you their foundation and I'll have all the links and names listed on the screen below while I go through the get ready with me. Foundation powder here. Eyeshadow palette, a four palette called Mocha, number two. Uh, Burberry mascara. I have also one of their lip glosses, one of their eyeliners, as well as two nail polishes. Ash Rose, which I don't know where that is, but it's a nude color. I have Poppy Red, which I have on my nails right now. The Burberry fragrance that just recently came out which is called my Burberry which features this beautiful bottle right here So you guys are actually going to see me from beginning to end apply my makeup uh, I've sped it up a bit so that the video is not too long if you're interested in seeing my get ready with me and learning about Burberry beauty stay tuned so we're going to start off with the complete eye palette in mocha number no. two uh, when I opened this palette I was so impressed the packaging was beautiful the colors and the you know embossed shadows were beautiful I didn't even really want to touch it um, but I ended up getting the one of the more neutral palettes and um, it's perfect for a smoky eye you can do a daytime smoky eye um, because it goes on really nice and sheer but you can also take that daytime smoky eye tonight because it's really really buildable so so I really like this eyeshadow it's really lightweight and um, it definitely lasts all day so I'm really loving it I've been wearing it every day recently um, when I first got it as I said I didn't even really want to touch it because I wanted it to last but it's so beautiful and the darkest shade in there the brown that I'm putting in my crease is such a nice brown with a little bit of shimmer in it um, that I'm just been loving it to wear in my crease all day um, the palette retails for about $64 and it also comes in about six different shade combinations. Next, I use the Effortless Coal Multi-Use Pencil. I really like this pencil. It was highly pigmented and it went on really, really smooth. So it glided on and the color was really, really rich. It came with a little sharpener and that retails for about $30. Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base is the first product I actually tried from the Burberry collection. I really like this product because it complements my skin tone and as you can see when I apply it, it automatically gives me a little bit of a glow. It has a fresh shimmer and a dewy finish. It retails for about $60. This luminous foundation probably surprised me the most of all the Burberry cosmetics that I tried. Um, it looked really light in the bottle and looked like it didn't match my skin. Um, but even though as I apply it, you guys will see that it looks a little bit light and a little bit on the yellow side, I promise you guys, this is my favorite foundation right now. This foundation is really, really light. Um, it's also buildable and a little bit of this product goes a really long way. But once it all gets blended out completely and you powder, the foundation is absolutely flawless and looks really, really beautiful in person. I'm concealing my under eye right now just with a Sedona Lace Concealer. Um, but for the most part, this foundation is fantastic and I'm so in love with it that I have to stop myself from wearing it to work every day because I love it that much. 
So this is the Fresh Glow Compact Foundation Powder in Almond 43 to match my foundation. And again, this has a nice velvet texture. Um, it could be applied wet or dry. And again, I was scared when I got this color. I thought it looked a little too light, although it looked darker than the foundation. Um, but again, a nice compact that is an upgrade from your typical mac studio fix uh, if you want to treat yourself to a really beautiful compact powder that you can carry in your evening bag i would definitely recommend this one um, again really really lightweight gives you a dewy or matte finish depending on how you apply it and it retails for i think 64 dollars So this mascara had me at the packaging, you guys. I'm in love with the packaging of this mascara. It's the Bold Lash Mascara in Ebony 1, and it features a cone-shaped brush that's supposed to catch every lash from root to tip. Um, I really like it. It's a perfect everyday mascara. It really coats your lashes and gives them a bold, edgy look. Um, this mascara retails for about $36. This is the Lip Glow Natural Lip Gloss in the color Heather and I'm in love with their glosses. They're beautiful, they're sheer and they look awesome layered over any lipstick. These retail for about $36 and definitely are worth the money. So that's it for the actual makeup application. I'm loving this look and I've been wearing it every day. Last but not least, this is my Burberry, the newest fragrance from Burberry. Um, it's a perfume and this is the 50 ml inspired by the trench coat button, the bottle, and it retails for about $98. The Burberry nail polish retails for $25. There are a ton of colors. This is the Poppy Red and Ash Rose, and the two coats dry in two minutes, so definitely worth it. Woo! That was a lot of product, guys, but you have to treat yourself to some high end makeup every now and then, so I really wanted to show you guys this collection. And finally, what I'm going to show you guys is what I wore today, what I wore to sh shoot the video and to go out on errands. It's my one of my favorite BCBG blazers, a necklace that I got on my online boutique when it first opened, um, my Martha Stewart Juicy Couture t shirt, and these pants from Dr. J's. I I completed the look with this brand new Aldo bag that my girl Jackie Dollhouse put me on to. So that's pretty much it and thanks for lasting through this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I had so much fun making it. It was kind of like my second time doing one of these videos. I don't do them too often, but to show a collection of makeup like this, I thought it was a perfect way for you guys to see it and see what um, their colors look like on my complexion. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've tried any of the products or what you're interested in trying. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching.